Hello again, everyone. My name is Sam Didier. I'm an artist and art director at Blizzard Entertainment, and today we're gonna to draw one of my favorite things in the world, the Pandaren. All right, so we're gonna start off just like with the other two videos. If you hadn't seen them yet, you should go check them out because a lot of the things that we did in those you're gonna be doing here again. All right, so we're gonna start off with the eyes of the Pandaren. Now, I did a quick little sketch in pencil under here because I'm not used to just drawing straight off with Sharpie here. But uh, normally when you're drawing, you would just be drawing with pencil and then when you're done, you would go in and you would darken in everything with pen. So you don't have to draw along with me with a pen as well. All right, so here we are. We're starting off with the eyes. Again, very similar to what we did with the orc and with the dwarf. So Pandarans, they have, they're basically you know like little panda people. So we gotta give them their cute little black panda bear nose. All right, there we go. And so we'll make this guy, even though he's kind of frowning a little bit, we'll give him somewhat of a little smile, like a mischievous little smile. Boom, boom. All right, so can you see the face starting there? All right, so this is what we'll do. We're gonna add some, you know, little fluffy eyebrows. All right, and then you know pandas, they have those cool little black markings underneath their eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right here, boom. Let's do a quick little color in too. So since pandas and pandaren have the black and white coloring, I'm gonna go ahead and do some little black and white uh, coloring while we're doing it so you can see what the shapes are. Okay, yeah, and you know what, while we're at it, let's give him little, little tusks too. All right, and then let's do his bottom lip. All right, so now we need to draw the rest of his head because right now it's just kind of floating there. It's kind of creeping me out. Okay, so pandas have their big little fluffy ears. All right, let's do that. Boom. All right, and then let's do the rest of his head. Now, remember with the, uh, the orc and the dwarf, we did those lightning bolt shapes. We're gonna do it again for the pandaren. So he's got these cool little sideburns as well. Now, it looks like he's got a big old giant crazy head right now, but we'll fix it. All right, so now here goes. We're gonna have the head here, boom. Give it some little jags there, because you know, it's fur, it's not gonna be. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up here a little bit too. Why is that? Because we're gonna give him like a little goatee beard there. Look at that. And then let's bring this up here. All right, now that, you're thinking that looks a little weird, right? But well, watch, we're gonna color this all in. You know, the story with the Pandaren, the way those came about was I was hanging out with my buddy and I was sitting in the desert and we were hanging out, we were camping and everyone was by the fire and I was out sitting off to the side and my buddy said, what are you sitting out there like a, like a panda bear for? You're not, you're not cold? And I go, no. And did you mean polar bear? He's like, yeah, polar bear, panda bear, whatever, same thing. So ever since then, I got called Panda as my nickname. All right, so real quick before we finish the story. So remember we do that little bump on top? Boom. All right, well, he also gets a cool little top knot. We're going to color that in. And then a few years later, uh, I drew a picture of a panda uh, sitting on a hill and the panda had a little kid panda sitting on his shoulder. And I had done that when my uh, daughter was born, Sophia, who is also the cameraman today. Say hello, Sophia. Hello. <laughs> That's Sophia. She's not little anymore. She's all grown up. Um, so that was the, the first picture 
that I did that had like a little panda dude in it. And we ended up doing that panda dude as a, either I think an April Fool's one time for at work. And then it turned out that all the people liked the Pandaren they, or the pandas. They thought that they were, you know, something that was gonna be in Warcraft. So we ended up years later adding them to Warcraft. And it all started because my buddy made a mistake and called me a panda instead of a polar bear. So we will have to come up with a polar bear race coming up. So anyways though, so if you notice, a lot of the shapes that we did, the cool lightning bolts, right? The same eye shapes, a lot of them are very similar to what we did with the dwarf huh? and the orc. And the reason why uh, that I draw these a lot is a lot of times people will ask for a little doodle if we're at a, at a, a BlizzCon or a convention and I can usually do a really quick picture of one of these, you know, real fast for people. And it's really fun to draw them anyway. So there is the image of the Pandaren. This looks like Chen Stormstout. He was the first Pandaren that we sort of did. And so there's Chen Stormstout, that's a Pandaren. Uh, these are not really fun to color in with crayons because there's really nothing left to color, maybe the eyes. All right, this is our last picture that we're doing today. Make sure that you sign it. Make sure your signature is nice and big so when people see your artwork, they go, oh my gosh, I love that artwork, bye. And you put your name right there. Me, I'm gonna put my name right here. There we go. And now, so I had three sheets of paper here. We still got a bunch left. So while you're at home, spend your time drawing, making cool pictures. I have this saying that I like to say, ABC, always be creating. So if you can, find some of that copy paper and some of those pens and pencils that are laying around the house and start creating some artwork, all right? All right, my panda wands, I will talk to you all later. I look forward to seeing your artwork. ABC, always be creating, and we'll see you around. Goodbye.